But that's just, for me, that's just a part of my life right now. And... <laughs> So I'm really sorry that I missed the upload this last week. Um, I was in Sioux City. Well, I mean, I was back home, but I was doing things in Sioux City, and apparently maybe I didn't get my video uploaded or something like that. So that's why. I think now that I have a full-time job, I'm going to go back to only posting on Sundays. Just because, I mean, it's a lot of work to put together a video. Uh, even a video twice a week is a lot of work, for me at least, because I have multiple creative projects I'm working on, so I'm gonna go back to doing video once a week. And this video right now, I think is a very, uh, an, it's an interesting video. I think I'm gonna call this video something like, having food condition, having digestive health issues and being vegan. Uh, so if you don't know, hi, my name is Leia. I have about half a dozen conditions that impact my digestion. Um, I'm low fat, high protein, uh, moderate carb, I want to say. Definitely not low carb, nothing near low carb, but definitely moderate carb, high protein. And that's because I have multiple digestive conditions. I don't have a gallbladder anymore, I have diabetes, I have gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is a very severe form of acid reflux, I actually have scarring in my digestive tract from acid reflux, I have inflammation in my stomach and my small intestine, and as of right now, there could be something else going on, we don't know, we're still running tests, I potentially have gastroparesis, there's just a lot and because of that I'm on a highly restricted diet um, I drink multiple insurers a day normally I drink one for breakfast and one for my afternoon snack I have them I have to eat five times a day I'm really careful about what I eat nothing with a lot of fiber nothing with a lot of soluble fiber uh, and overall I also don't eat a lot of fatty animal products so I don't eat a lot of beef I don't eat a lot of cheese. Um, when I do eat dairy, it's either these things which are lactose free or it's yogurt that is fat free. So it's a pretty restrictive diet. And for me, you know, I had an eating disorder that I'm currently in remission for from. Uh, I have BED, which actually whether or not I actually have BED or whether it's part of my bipolar disorder is up in the air. Technically, I don't meet the criteria for BED. I never have. So it's actually a part of my bipolar disorder that I binge eat. But whenever I'm doing well, whenever I'm not binging, whenever I'm functioning, um, I have a really restrictive diet. And I want to talk about today why I'm not fully vegan anymore. And it's really simple. It's kind of sad for me. It's difficult to talk about, but it's because that food makes me sick. Before I start, I want to say this is nothing against veganism. Um, emotionally, I'm sad that I can't be vegan. And veganism, I think, is a great lifestyle, a good way to eat. It's uh, good for the planet, good for the animals, good for you. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's the healthiest diet in the world. I think that any balanced diet is a healthy diet and a mostly plant-based diet with some animal products, which is kind of what I eat now, is probably the most healthy for you. The problem with eating vegan for me is just that my stomach can't handle fiber. Um, 
I had very severe digest different digestive issues, so not nausea, not bloating, but other digestive issues when I was vegan, and those digestive issues are indicative of having a stomach that can't process fiber well. I was constipated all the time. This is very much not the norm for people who eat fiber. Um, usually it's the other way. For me, I was getting almost exactly my 25 grams a day, which is the amount that you should have, and I was so sick that I had to go on prescription medication for it. It's kind of a sign. So, I would eat things like oatmeal, which honestly is my great love, and I, I, I miss oatmeal a lot. I miss my half a cup of oatmeal cooked in a cup of water and five strawberries with bananas, cinnamon, and sugar. I miss that. I miss my, like, smorgasbord two-year-old component lunch that had, like, bell peppers and crackers and hummus and almonds and pineapple. And I think there was one more thing. I think there was another... Sh oh, I know. There was a uh, vegan cereal. Like, I miss that. I miss my tofu... And I miss my tofu chickpea pasta that was, like, little cut-up chunks of tofu as small as I can make them and cooked as well as I was actually willing to cook it because I never really had the patience to be able to brown tofu. <laughs> because if you don't know, to cooking tofu is a bit like cooking chicken. At least the way that you cook it, you cut it up into little bits and then you're kind of browning the individual bits. But, you know, having my tofu with chickpea pasta and this homemade uh, pasta sauce that I made that was just crushed tomatoes and vegetable broth. Oh. Just thinking about it now makes me makes me hungry for it. But the problem is I can't I can't have that. I can't have any of this food. You know, the chickpea pasta is probably too high in fiber for me. The hummus is too high in fiber. Although I'm gonna try including it in my diet again. I can't have lots of soy because it messes with my thyroid. I can't have oatmeal because too much too much too, basically there's too much fiber in it. And also, oatmeal is the type of carb that is good for someone with diabetes, actually, because of the fiber and it's a slow digesting carb. But for me, because of the fiber, it doesn't do well. I would put two tablespoons, two, two teaspoons, not tablespoons, two teaspoons of sugar on top of a banana and multiple strawberries. Well, that's a lot of sugar for me. Although, to be fair, I actually had some of my lowest numbers when I was eating vegan. Um, the strawberries I can't have because of the seeds which are hard to digest and also because of the acidity. I can't have the tomato sauce because of the acidity. I can't have the bell peppers because of the acidity. I can't have the almonds because they're hard to digest. You know, the cereal would be okay except for it's so high in it's so high in carbs. It's difficult. It's difficult. So, if I can't have this food that I love, what do I do? Well, Whenever I get go out, I do still sometimes get veggie burgers. Um, there are a number of different types of veggie burgers. My two favorites are the Impossible Whopper, which is a mock meat grown in a lab. Uh, when I say mock meat, that means that it is like intended to replace meat. It's not a veggie like it is a veggie burger, but it is intended to like be more of a one for one replacement. Not exactly sure how they make it. I know that it has heme iron and that it's really neat. And that it actually, in my opinion, tastes better than a Whopper. And then I also love the Culver's veggie burger that's made with chickpeas, which are my one true love. I never knew that I would fall in love with a bean, but chickpeas, I love them. You know, I'm trying to switch out my dairy yogurts for non-dairy yogurts. It's just difficult because it's expensive. I try not to eat meat. If I eat meat, I eat chicken, and that's just because, for me, I always had more of a problem with cows, and so it's kind of ironic that uh, beef is something that bothers my stomach. Um, I still take a vitamin const on a frequent basis. I still, I still do a lot of those things that I did before. But yeah, I'm sad that I don't see a future for me where I'm ever 
going to be able to be fully vegan again. Um, these ensures are made with cow's milk protein. Um, this is specifically made with the milk protein concentrate. They are lactose free, which seems to be good for me because when I have a lot of milk, it bothers my GERD and my acid reflux. So it's hard because, man guys, it just, it's not fun when the foods that you like make you sick. I love tomatoes. I love green peppers. I love actually every color pepper. I love having them with hummus. I love oatmeal. I love all these foods, but it's hard because I can't eat them anymore. And that's a big part of what my life has been like over the last year is trying to learn what I can eat, what's not going to make me sick. Um, I went through a period of time where everything made me sick and I was on soft food, so I was eating mashed potatoes and yogurt. Thankfully, I can eat more than mashed potatoes and yogurt, and I'm adding more foods into my diet, but also, I'm pretty sure that most people's grocery list doesn't include, uh, 12 bottles of Ensure a week, like mine does. But that's just, for me, that's just a part of my life right now. And I'm sad that I can't fully be vegan. I'm sad that I can't even really be vegetarian at this point. Chicken is one of the safe foods for me, um... I'm testing out some chicken alternatives tonight. I'm going to look and see if I can have my deeply beloved Gardein chicken nuggets. Uh, if you've never had them, they're amazing. They taste so good. They are nice and mushy. I think they taste like chicken nuggets, but that's just me. I think they taste better than chicken nuggets, actually. Again, just me. But it is hard whenever you have something ethically that you want to do and you can't do it anymore. I am hopefully going to meet with a dietitian. Um, I have to get a sign off from my doctor saying that I'm stable to meet with a dietitian. But hopefully I can explain to her, you know, I understand that I'm never going to be fully vegan again. I understand that it's like unlikely that I'm ever going to be fully vegetarian again. But I would like to take steps to minimize my meat consumption wherever possible as long as I can do that within the framework of all of my digestive problems. Well guys, uh, that was a video. Um, I think I will get into maybe more of my vegan story if you guys want. I, I, I don't know. I don't think of myself as a vegan influencer. I'm mean, certainly because I'm not vegan anymore. I never really wanted to be a vegan influencer. Um, but I do hashtag myself on Instagram with diabetic vegan, diabetic vegetarian, and reducetarian, which is the label that I personally use because I try to limit my animal consumption, even if I can't completely eliminate it right now. That's the label that I use. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit about it, and I'll talk more about it in a future video, like I said, but this video's been all over the place, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, guys.